tough loss for us, 4-0, in a game that we actually produced 12 shots on goal, six corner kicks, or 12 shots, four shots on goal. Um, so kind of a frustrating game for us because at times we were, we did enough that I thought we should have been more competitive than what the score showed, but we also gave up way too much. So we need to get some things, get some things cleared up before our, our game on Thursday with Idaho State, who's coming down here for a 2 p.m. on Thursday. So any questions I can answer, I'm happy to do. Yeah, so if you look at the game statistically, um, we actually, our rate of possession and our completed passes were greater than Colorado's. So our possession and some of our buildup was really good, but inside of our 18 and inside of their 18, they were clinical and we were poor. Um, so I, I think they were the better team. I'm not trying to say that we deserve to win that game, but I think a 4-0 result would suggest that it was a 4-0 game, and it wasn't. We created enough, we had some brilliant opportunities, and we just didn't put them away. So I think the biggest things for us right now is inside of our 18 and attacking their 18, we have to be more precise, cleaner, and tougher, really. Yeah, I, I just, I mean, I think that area, the 18, nerves come into play. So you're defending in your own 18 and you're nervous and you're attacking the own 18 and you lose composure. And it, it just, both sides of the ball, we have to be better there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, I was mostly club, but in addition to that, I work with our youth national teams. Um, and I've also done some stuff that, that's probably even a higher level than college, truthfully. So the, the level of it, soccer is soccer. Um, and, and I think there's some learning curves that come as far as management of legs. It's a really difficult kind of, I mean, our schedule so far, we've had a game, <laughs> recovery day, pregame game. And so I, th I think that's been a learning process on how we save legs and how we sub and, and kind of keep the legs fresh. But as far as the level, it, it's not much different. Yeah. Idaho State center forward is a Mexican national team player. He played in the World Cup this summer. Um, so obviously when you're playing at that level, you have a whole new, oh, just, it, it's just a different level. You're, you're playing in a World Cup and then you're playing in Division I soccer. It's just a different level. So my guess is she's going to be a handful and very good for them. Um, and the rest of the team, we don't have much of a scouting report on them. I know they play a 4-3-3. And I know they're kind of a hardworking, sort of grinded out mentality. So it won't be easy for us. Is the Thursday, two kind of a weird thing? Yeah, 2 o'clock game on a Thursday is not, yeah, not ideal. We'd much rather be playing Friday night. but. We, um, we kind of had to plan the season a little bit late, so uh, we just kind of had to take games that we could get. You mentioned the Colorado game. Can you talk about the Mexico State? Yeah, New Mexico State was an incredible atmosphere. I mean, we went down there and there was 2,200 people at the game, which is, it just creates an atmosphere that's fun to play in. I mean, I, I told the girls so far they've played in front of some of the biggest crowds in the country, which is kind of a compliment to them and to our program. and. So New I, I thought New Mexico State was, was class. I mean, they were, the field looked great. The fans were outstanding. It was just a fun atmosphere. And I thought we were the deserved winner in that game. We were, we were better and I thought per probably should have put a few more away. Is that your first real exposure to survival? No, no. <laughs> I get it, yeah. I get it. I grew up here. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. They can't use the one sport. Yeah, no, I mean, I just, I just think I'm kind of a purist that way. I just think the game, the field size matters. And so we just want it to be NCAA minimums. But their, their field, their soccer field is outstanding. So it ended up being just fine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 2,000 feet seat people in a football stadium feels empty. Yeah. But the football stadium was right? Correct. Yeah. Yeah, correct. So I think I think the field could only be like 100 by 60, which uh, NCAA minimums are 110 by 70. So it's pretty significantly different. Yeah, which is unfortunate. I mean, it's kind of hard to scramble that way, but it all ended up going really well. So when you played against Colorado, I know the first two games or three games, you probably were a little happier, but are you now going to 
maybe make some changes, or is it still too early to really do anything like that after a four or a Yeah, I just, I'm learning a lot about the team. I'm learning a lot about the individuals, and they're learning a lot about me. And there, there's things that we have to be better at. I mean, losing 4-0 to anyone is not really okay. So we, we have a lot of work to do, but the thing that I've been pleased to see is that they're not happy about it. I mean, it's different if I'm real upset and they're kind of floating along and don't care, but they want to be better. And so their, their training environment and their practice environment has been much more competitive the past few days. And so it, you have to hope that if that can consistently goes that way, it'll pay off in the way that we're playing too.